Hey, yo, what the fuck is going on, baby? We back out here with another amazing reaction. Yes, sir. Logic, Bobby Tarantino 3 is out. New Music Friday, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. I listened to the album once. One time. And obviously, if you've been here, you've been seeing that we've been reacting to the singles that he's been putting out. I think it was like four or five singles that he put out that were off this album. Uh, and so I'm not reacting to every single song, probably only a couple. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is a, I feel like a very different vibe than Bobby Tarantino one and two. And so my expectation was a lot more hype trap songs versus a lot, a lot of slow songs that are coming out on this album, which is not bad per se. I just had very different, different expectations. Now we're going to be reacting to see you space cowboy and untitled. That's going to be coming out as well. Uh, but, you know, I want to get into this, give it a deeper listen for the lyrics. And, and, you know, obviously Logic, he be spazzing sometimes. So, you know, we've been listening to the slow stuff. Hey, let's get some hype shit. Let's check this out, baby. Logic, C, Space Cowboy, Bobby Tarantino 3. Let's go. Yo. Oh my god, okay, look. I, like I said, I listened to it once before, but it's always good to listen to it again and again, really hear the lyrics. It said, Grammy, nom Grammy nominated, never won it though. I ain't gonna lie, I still won it though. It's like, my man got it 100, man. 100 M's, probably. Hey, rich as fuck. And he's been doing his thing now. He got the sequel to Under Pressure, baby. I don't know if the sequel, you know, what he means by that. If it's, you know, the Bobby Tarantino whole trilogy. Or if it's, you know, just his whole no pressure. Uh, so, uh, sorry, it took me a second to think of that for some reason. But, you know. Obviously up for interpretation, but hey, he could be spazzing though. He'd be spazzing for real. Oh. Oh, he said, wouldn't you grow up without no, without no dad role model and your mama goes straight for the bottle? Hey, literally same. <laughs> Yo, hey, fuck, he be flowing on his. This shit is systemic inside of us, D. The media lie to us, D. Tell us that we can be whoever we want to be. And then when we try, what they tell us, what they tell us, what they tell us, to live more realistically. Hey, fuck that, get the fuck back, fuck rapping, all that noise. Growing up, how I grew up, I really never had a choice. Killers and murderers in my house, and it was all of my boys. But deep down, I always knew better, knew that shit I need to avoid. God damn. Hey, you know his producers go crazy though. I got a lot on my mind, got a lot of work ahead of me. I'm trying to maintain balance of my time. Never want to let it bottle up like everything's fine. That's how you go crazy and end up in a pond. I've been talking to my therapist. Rhymes I've been writing so hot. You would think it was an Arabic. Flow bomb like a terrorist, never careless. I got soul like Paris. Yeah, from Tokyo to Paris. Oh man, so I got soul like Paris. Thought it was hot like Arabic, like like in Egypt. It's hot, <laughs> bro. Oh God. End up in the pond. I've been talking to my therapist. Rhymes I've been writing so hot. You would think it was an Arabic. Oh. Bomb like a terrorist. Oh. Careless. I got soul like Paris. Yeah, from Tokyo to Paris. My bitch bad. Stay with money like an heiress. Talk oh. with my wife and my son. What I share. Yeah. Hey, respect, baby. The time with my son and my wife is what I cherish. Respect. Oh, 
Oh, damn. I forgot. It was a long well, song. I guess uh, I just woke up one day and I was like, you know what? I kind of feel like rapping again. You know what I'm saying? So I did it. And I've been chilling with little Bobby and his fine ass mama. <laughs> we out here in the country shooting guns, riding dirt bikes and shit. And I just was like, man, I want to do this. It's a fucking so country I boy. All the homies out here in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we just decided to do this Bobby Tarantino EP 3P off the cuff just for fun, just for the summer, just for all the homies. But we actually out here recording this album. It's going to be my last studio album on Def Jam. So. So it's gonna be a vibe, man. It's just gonna be fun. You know, just a fun thing. You know me, I'm a nerd. I love hip hop, man. I love you listening. I love the fans. We doing this shit for the fans, man. Whole time I was gone, they was like, come back. Come back. <laughs> and I was like, nah. And, that, and then and now I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Rap pack, baby. Yeah. Lil Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Okay, so that's a lot to break down right there. So he's saying this is an EP. So it's not even like an album album for his standards, which like, you know, his albums have like a, an incredible story behind them like every single time. And so he said, one more studio under Def Jam. And then he's going independent. I've seen some shit off of his IG that he was posting like they're going independent after this album, probably for Bobby Boy Records and like, god damn that's crazy like he just gotta fulfill his deal and he's gone and uh so i wonder hey you know he said it's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be fun i wonder what it's gonna be like if it's relatable at all to any of his other albums is it ultra 85 that we've all been waiting for but he said no pressure was ultra 85 who knows anyway man the song was hot i liked it he'd be flowing and spazzing on that bitch but hey, if you like this, man, like the video, comment, let me know what you want to see me react to next, man. I appreciate you coming out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, baby. Never ending content on the way. <laughs> we out here. Thanks for coming. Peace.